Okay, so this is just a quick information video. Every time I do a chain of sprockets video, somebody asks me well, what size sprockets did you use and what tools did you use, what size tools. So, I mean, first of all, you have to move that cover I've just shown you. You have to take that cover off and as well, three bolts holding that on. It's all part of the uh, speedo sensor thing. There's another bolt inside that you have to take off before you can <clears throat> hold the cover on as well. Now then, this is a this is a tool you probably won't have, but you'll need to, you'll need to buy if you haven't got one. I I had one in the garage, so it's a 36 millimeter socket. It's got to be a deep deep uh, socket as well to fit on the uh, sprocket nuts to get that off so it's 36 millimeter in case anyone wants to know that's, that's the size you need if you want to do this job see it's quite deep you need to need a deep one because it's, uh, it's a long spindle you got to fit over to so get the that uh, that nut off the sprocket there That off, and then you got you have to obviously have to flatten that washer first before you can take the nuts off. It's a standard sort of, sort of washer which you, you flatten off. You can just see the length of that spindle uh, as it sticks out, so that's why you need a long socket to reach that uh, nut to take off. Um, Size of the chain you need is a 525. I bought a DID one, good good quality one to use. That's the chain I'm using it's 118 links, so it's a 525 118 link chain you need for this bike. It's a standard sprocket is uh, 42 teeth on the back. So I've bought a 43, one tooth larger to go on, GT1. And if you can read that, that's the one I've got. And the front sprockets are bought to 15 tooth because these standard ones are 16 tooth, so I'll change that to a 15. Okay, and thanks for watching everybody, see you on the next video.